Because females have two X chromosomes, the Lyon hypothesis suggests that each cell randomly inactivates one of its X chromosomes so that they don't have double the dosage of any proteins or traits that are carried on their X chromosome compared to males. So here we can see um, the cell on the left has is inactivating its pink gene. And because of that, it's becoming green. So that inactivated cell or that inactivated chromosome becomes a condensed piece of genetic material called a, called a bar body. Tortoiseshell cats are a great example of the line hypothesis. So their genotype is X big B for black and X little b for yellow. And so when their different um, cells inactivate one of these alleles, they become this pass patchwork of different colors. So here we can see on the nose that black allele is being expressed and on the stomach the yellow allele. So what if we did a cross between a yellow haired female and a black haired male? And then we also did um, short hair since little h, little h, and then heterozygous from long hair, big h, little h. So we're going to do a um, tree here. And then for gender, we're going to start with that. You have a half chance of being male and a half chance of being female. And then moving on to color, we're going to do a little Punnett square. So it's going to be x little b, x little b for the mom and x big b, y for the dad. So we're going to cross that, and then we're going to get x big b, x little b, x big b, x little b, and then x little b, y, x little b, y. So that ends up being, if you are a male, your only chance is being yellow. yellow. So that's going to be a one chance of being yellow, and then x little b, y. And then for female, your only chance is being um, tortoiseshell, so that's x big b, x little b. And then we're going to move on to length and make another Punnett square. So big H, little h, and then little h, little h. And then you have a half chance of being long hair heterozygous and a half chance of being short hair. And that goes for both um, male and female. So then in our final progeny, you have a fourth chance of being a long haired yellow male or a fourth chance of being a short haired yellow male, a fourth of a chance of being a long haired torty female, and a fourth of a chance of being a short haired torty female. So let's say in our progeny, we had two short haired um, females, which have to be tortoiseshell. So I'm gonna draw those two cats. So the cat on the left, let's say that spot right there, that is going to be expressing the black allele. So we're gonna inactivate the yellow allele. But then on the count on the right, another spot's going to be activating that um, black allele. So these two cats are not going to look the same because different parts of different cells are expressing different colors. You can see here the black around the eye on the right cat and the tan around the eye of the left cat. So we can see that whenever the lion hypothesis comes into play, especially in these cats, um, same genotype does not have to equal same phenotype.